Well, investigators are trying to track down the mob of shoplifters that ransacked Nordstrom into paying a mall on Saturday. Dozens of people grabbed an armful of goods on their way out of that store. Now, residents are fed up with the brazen robberies. Cake House Lauren Bozen is in Canoga Park with the latest on this investigation. Detectives with LAPD are going over security camera video and video posted on social media to try to track down these suspects who took off in various vehicles. Now, what happened inside this Nordstrom is happening all over the state at different retailers, but that doesn't make this any easier for people who live here to accept. Between 30 and 50 masked shoplifters treated this Nordstrom inside the Westfield Topanga Mall as a free for all. Saturday afternoon, they ambushed the store within minutes, taking whatever they could. It was disgusting to see what people are getting away with. In the mix of all this chaos, police say a security guard was sprayed with either mace pepper spray or bear spray. Investigators say the thieves took off with between sixty and one hundred thousand dollars worth of merchandise. Thieves targeted the same Nordstrom in 2021. This is my neighborhood. I have neighborhood pride, no matter how bad it gets. But this is the second time. This is not the first time. Mayor Karen Bass issued a statement on Saturday's robbery, saying in part it's unacceptable and assuring accountability for those involved. But residents want this madness to end now. It's just brazen. Nobody's afraid of the repercussions. Some feel not enough is being done to prevent the crimes from happening in the first place. Police are, are handcuffed themselves. They can't do what they're supposed to do. They're not, the criminals aren't being prosecuted to the full extent of the law. A big question some have is if the controversial zero bail policy is a factor. It prohibits LAPD and LASD from requiring cash bail for people arrested for misdemeanors and nonviolent offenses. The concern is that if individuals don't have any money in their pocket, they might end up in jail waiting for trial. The flip side of that, though, is it creates an incentive for people to commit these types of nonviolent property crimes. That could mean zero consequences. Perpetrators know what to do. Try to dress in mono, single color clothing, cover your face, stay in the pack, don't do anything that distinguishes you, and get out of there quick. It's, it's almost like a recipe. While there's no quick answer, some are already changing their shopping habits, all in the name of safety. I won't go near this mall or any mall, I do all my shopping online. It's just, it's too dangerous. We also reached out to Nordstrom and Westfield to paying a mall, but haven't heard back yet. We'll let you know as soon as we do. Reporting in Canoga Park, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.